Hey YouTube, Edward here. I got, on the same day, two almost identical questions from Joe and Anthony about how to archive and unarchive or backup and restore or import and export reports. I had a blog post on this topic, but some things are simply easier to explain in a video than in writing. So let me show you what this is all about. Let's start by backing up a report. It will generate a catalog file. On the report, under More, you choose Archive. I typically ignore these options and just save the report in a location where I can easily find it back. Once you have exported your report like this, you can import it back in, maybe in a different instance or if you stay within the same instance, maybe in a different folder. Let me show you how that works. Every folder has a unarchive option. You see this underneath here? Click on unarchive, select the catalog file that we just exported. Again, I ignore these options and I just bring it back. And there it is. That's how export and import works. It's as simple as that. There's a few more things to know though. You see this folder with three reports? The folder itself also has a archive option. I can basically archive the entire directory, including the content. So let me save that here. And now under my folders, I can unarchive it again. I can bring that entire directory, including where did I put it? Here it is. Including all the reports back into a different directory or a different instance. And here is the content. And the same thing is true for dashboards. I know we haven't talked about dashboards yet. That's probably going to happen after the summer. But once you make dashboards, actually a dashboard acts like a folder. Within the dashboard, you can have different dashboard pages and you can actually save the reports that you want in a dashboard within the dashboard, within the dashboard folder. So what I now can do is, for each of the dashboards that I have, I can archive them again and then restore them wherever I want them. Et voila, that's how it works.